Greetings, Keechlings. Keechon Prime here with a One Punch Man theory video. Kind of a discussion, but more on the theory side of things. Um, w it's been more than a week ago, not long after the most recent chapter dropped, and I thought, hmm, because uh, in Grim Reaper's Discord, link down below, uh, they discuss One Punch Man a lot because it's the main draw to the Discord channel or server. And I decided, oh, I'll throw my hat into the room because, like, ever since Orochi's fight with Saitama, I've been thinking, he is not dead. Now, be it this theory video is going to branch off into a couple different things, so just bear with me. Um, the first is, is Orochi dead? I don't think so because that is a lot of potential for a character that, you know is new to the webcomic, so nobody can say, oh, well, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. It's like, we don't know. He's original, so... And then for him to just be off, the, you know, in one of the two or three fights that he's had in the whole series, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's the normal way of fighting Saitama is that you're off as soon as you fight him, but, you know, there's been a few exceptions. Um... But first, when it comes to this, I'm thinking, okay, the one thing that pivots that he's not dead is the fact that Gorogoro sent one of his, her, I've heard both pronouns thrown around, um, little spy bugs. And it kind of questioned, it was like, he's dead? <laughs> you know, in a questioning tone, so they can't even say. Now, be it if the bugs are, you know, telepathic or anything, we don't really know. But presumably, they're linked directly to Guru Grow, so I would assume they probably are. And if you can, or if they do, then they can probably read if he has any brain signature. And if you're still questioning that with that capability, then the chances of him still being alive are still there. Um, now, the other train of thought... And, well, well, let me finish up this first. Um, I think he'll either regenerate or recombinate in some form or fashion. Because, like, regeneration with, like, snake-like creatures is a, a thing. Like, they're shedding their skin. Or with lizards, like, they can regrow their tails. And, you know, dragons being magical. Like, all of these reptilian qualities Orochi has. So, it wouldn't surprise me if he can regenerate his body. Or something and then he become he gets a power boost like a zenkai boost like the saiyans and that's kind of that first branch the next branch is orochi's legacy should he turn up dead like with all the other fights that saitama has ever had you know one punch and viscera everywhere now, where did all of the viscerated pieces of Orochi fall? They're still in the Monster Association. And what is wandering about all around? A bunch of monsters. And given, like, the, the biologies of each individual monster is a total mystery to anybody. So, who's to say one of these monsters doesn't find a piece of Orochi... Not knowing it's Orochi, not even knowing what's happened at all, and thinks, oh, free meal. So then they eat him, or that piece of him. And then this could go a couple different ways of Orochi takes over, like he, there was some level of consciousness left in that piece, and then whoever eats him becomes the new Orochi, or at least their new Orochi body. Or they consume his flesh, and then they become the new Orochi in terms of, like, they'll become the new Monster King because they gained all of his latent power and whatnot and then added it to their own. And then they can become a Monster Cell producer as well. And then Goro Goro just uses them like he, she did Orochi. Um, and then um, there is another branch of kind of going along the same idea of someone becoming the new Orochi, one of these monsters may find a piece of Orochi 
and be like, hey, uh, w w especially with um, what uh, a my mass did to the stockpile of monster cells, you know, he destroyed them all. So their reserves are going to be running low now that the stockpile is gone and also the production or the producer is gone. So one of the smarter monsters may find chunks of Orochi and then make some artificial production method for um, the monster cells or to recreate Orochi. Maybe a more obedient form or something. I could see Goro Goro trying to do that. It's like, well, he failed me the first time, but hey, let's try again, you know? I mean, he said that it, Orochi isn't like the first monster he's ever done this with, so using Orochi, the most successful version, and then making a new one, not out of the realm of possibilities. But then, there is the fact that, okay, the Monster Association arc is probably the the biggest arc that we'll, we may get for a bit. I don't know. I'm not a webcomic reader, please don't spoil me. But considering that monsters are the main antagonist of this whole franchise, it seems not too insane to say that there may be a Neo Monster Association later down the line, maybe using the things I've already discussed, where they have uh, used pieces of Orochi to make a new method of producing monster cells, creating more monster threats for the series to come and beyond, or that they recreate Orochi in some form or fashion, like Frankenstein, you know, just piecework him with a bunch of other monster parts or something, you know, and then creating a new Orochi, a Neo Orochi. Um, and that would just make for a cool arc. And plus the fact that, like, the whole concept of Neo-something is not new. I mean, we have Neo-Nazis, for instance, you know. <laughs> the Nazis came back, the monsters can come back. Plus they do have... Well, wait, I'm thinking of the Vin Smokes. Never mind. Um, but, yeah. The, uh... Well, they're kind of not... Eh, they came back, too. They just didn't call themselves Neo. But Neo just means new... And then you just attach that onto whatever old organizations that you have. So a neo-monster organization becoming the future threat and continued threat of like continuing the work of the original monster association. Or maybe they like branch off from the monster association after its eventual defeat and like the survivors start cultivating new powerful monsters to become new threats in the future. I don't know. Um, but yeah, these are just kind of some of the ideas I had popping around in my head for a week or two. So uh, let me know what you think. Um, these are mostly just expanded ideas of things I said in the Discord. So some people who may be watching this are from the Discord and know what I am already had said. So yeah. But anyway, uh, let me know what you thought. Um, anything that you've thought about what would happen to Orochi if he turns up dead or is there a legacy to be had should he n be dead and then what comes of it for the Monster Association let me know down below and uh, yeah uh, thank you for watching I stream on Twitch three days a week Tuesdays Thursdays Saturdays upload to YouTube the next day in that cycle and yeah also sometime this weekend on my channel Griever and I will be doing our manga podcast, so stay tuned for that. You know, the follow me on Twitter so that you know when we're going live. And going live for anything and to keep up with when I post stuff, all that. And yeah, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, follow me on all these. Links down below. And until next time, Keyshlings, roll out!